Welcome folks to the Koha installation part 1. We are now trying to open the terminal. Uh, here's a terminal and let me just show you. And we are going to install Koha current stable into Ubuntu desktop. This is actually a part 1 and this is going to be a series of uh, many parts. So I recommend that you watch every uh, part so that you would know how to install Koha in your uh, local library uh, Just note that I am connected to the internet Here are the things that you will learn number one number two uh, Update the system and number three install mysql server and try to log in So let us go with step one We'll log in as super user sudo su is the command now uh, we will try sudo su as a super user uh, let me show you how to open the terminal open the terminal if there's a shortcut you can always use the shortcut method uh, now i am in the let me try to access using the command step one and then i'll enter my password to my system and uh, as you can see that i'm here in my root at the library home uh, this is step one Okay, let me just try to resize and put all this uh, tab in place so that I can have a better view of both the tab. Number one is this uh, library word office and second is this terminal. Step two, update the system. So I'll use this app get update. Follow exactly. We cannot afford to make a mistake while we are typing. It is loading all the updates from the packages uh, right now. Uh, done. Now let us try to step three. App get upgrade. Now all the packages has been updated. Now we are trying to upgrade it. So it says, do you want to continue? Yes. Why? Okay. Now it's downloading all the file uh, this is step three it's downloading all the file into my ubuntu system uh, so this may uh, take a little while because uh, here it says 23 kb per second three hours 20 minute time it will take because this is a fresh installation so it will need to update all the necessary modules of uh, ubuntu and at this current speed it will take two hours approximately now it may take some time so grab a cup of coffee and you can uh, just just chill and do some other things uh, while i'll get myself some work done in the meanwhile this is this a uh, second objective update and then upgrade okay it is done now, uh, second part which we want to, which I want to show you is update and upgrade the packages of Ubuntu is done. It is complete. Bracket completed. Okay. So, <clears throat> now what we'll do is we will go to step uh, three. On the step three is the, uh, step four I mean. Uh, sudo app clean this is generally used to clear this space as necessary it's uh, just like refreshing your uh, pc or something like that your window operating system mm, i'm doing that it is done okay now let us go back and then we'll try to uh, do step number five i'm not going to use uh, i'm going to use my sql server it's a relational database management system and uh, not Maria, you can either use Maria database or uh, MySQL. Before that, uh, let me go to step six first and just see if whether or not I have, uh, you know, uh, Ubuntu install, uh, I mean, MySQL install or not. If I have install, it should show here. I can use dash dash version. Okay, or I can just use dot version dot b. As, uh, dash v i mean uh, it says here something that uh, command my sql not found it did not find the command because 
there is no packages which is installed yet of mysql i can either use this app install mysql client or i can just type this general command and then try to no 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 that is wrong let me just try to copy it and then i'll go back to my terminal and uh, here i will try to wipe out this uh, command paste it there and then uh, uh, click enter okay so this what this command will do is it will try to install uh, the mysql server and then uh, it prompted me uh, here it says uh, okay i think it will be installed new packages will be installed okay uh, i can either remove it also if i have the following automatic is no longer required some uh, packages within this it's already available uh, subsidiary packages which uh, is a part of uh, mysql but then uh, this thing will be installed yes you can see mysql client core dash core dot zero and then uh, some new packages will be installed okay so we need 30 mb of archive and then 248 mb of additional space yes i'm clicking yes and uh, it is now downloading all the mysql client core dash 8.0 uh, this is the the version of the uh, mysql which is downloading this may also take a while uh, as the internet speed is quite low on my end mm, okay uh, let's wait a while this is step five okay minimized and it's done i guess so let me go back and uh, step five is done it is it has been installed so let us check uh, which version we are actually using the mysql version okay all right not that uh, there okay i will type my sql space dash hyphen small hyphen and v okay so yes i am now within my sql all right so i have been able to successfully access and this is the version server version 8.0.22 uh, let me just go up and see what was that version again it's uh, uh yeah this one it says why i want to continue i click i put in yes why for yes and this is the version uh okay 8.0.22 so uh, i'm just exit yeah now i'm back to my root i have exit from mysql database of course i can go and explore mysql but not now maybe later uh, suppose in case uh, we're going to use this command if uh, uh, paste it and it to start mysql uh, you can either start or use the keyword stop mysql to stop it and start it or restart uh, command you can use now let us go back to step number seven uh, which is to secure your installation thereby uh, giving it uh, making the uh, database more robust more uh, secured from uh, people by assigning a password or something like that okay it doesn't copy again let me try to paste it here okay now do i want to continue uh, this will validate your passport component okay and improve your security uh, press y for yes okay uh, now it gives me an option to low medium strong password what type of password you want a strong password or you want a medium password i'm using uh, medium since this is for practice purposes and uh, it uh, prompted me for password what password should i be given uh, i will give my own password here i guess mm, what 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 password will i be giving 
because later in the future this passport will be very important for you when you try to access all the tables of uh, uh, MySQL because within the table you'll find all the detail of all your library patrons of all your uh, mm, records of a bibliographic and all those re-enter again this should be secret and the password should be kept by you uh, for you only and uh, do you wish to continue with the password of course i wished i'm going to type y for yes okay remove anonymous user no i don't want to remove anonymous user because i am going to need to any user who have access to the system they can of course i'm just gonna type any key okay do this allowed root login remotely i wanted myself to access this machine remotely i don't want to sit and uh, buy the machine uh, remove test database uh, no test sometimes needed i'll i'll not allow it in. i'll yes i don't want to remove it uh reload privileges table of course uh why yeah okay all done all done all done all done so now we have uh, finished securing our uh, mysql uh, uh, database TK. all right so uh, i'll just type here okay bracket and then i have assigned a new password i have assigned a new password okay and this password you have to save it now let us try to log into mysql again previously i've shown you that i was able to get access to it by just typing mysql but now, now i'm going to paste that no that is a different 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 command uh, sometimes you have to copy twice because it doesn't really take in those cache memory of those copy clipboard okay remember the password which i have just given a while back now i'm going to use that same password which i have entered so yes there it is mysql i am inside mysql successfully login to uh, i have successfully uh, wrong spelling l l y sh uh, login using the new password which i have assigned just a minute ago yeah, using the secure password okay so uh please note that i have all allowed for uh, anonymous and remote uh, access to the database mysql uh, database anonymous and remote i have used even a test database uh, uh, tables also i did not uh, remove it i have kept it there only it will be within the mysql once i have access to the mysql i should be able to get access to the tests also to the, uh, i mean the uh, test uh, tables okay so i'll exit now back to my root and uh, what i think is uh next uh, okay next part two okay on part two i'll be covering modules like uh guys follow the part two because uh, it is important for you to know uh, each part of the series so that uh, the installation will go smoothly uh, hopefully uh, follow the next tutorial part two in this uh, channel okay for more information for more for koha installation for uh, follow the next part in this channel for more just that's it uh, thanks for watching and uh, thank you again